Hi there, Jordan from Roadmonk here. In this video, I'm going to take you through the basics of road mapping, from creating a roadmap, to adding items and fields, to visualizing your items, along with some all around tips and tricks to help you create roadmaps worth celebrating. Ready to get started? When you log into Roadmonk, the first thing you'll see is your roadmaps homepage. This dashboard is where you can see and access all of your roadmaps, as well as any ones that other people in your account have shared with you. Here, we'll also be able to create a new roadmap. There are two ways to create a roadmap, from scratch or by using one of Roadmonk's customizable templates. Let's start by looking at how to create a roadmap from scratch. Click the new roadmap button, then enter a title for your roadmap. And there it is. Congrats, you've just created your first roadmap. That was pretty easy, right? From here, we're currently seeing the items table view with its two default fields, items and date. All Roadmonk roadmaps have these two key fields. Next, let's look at how to create a new roadmap using one of Roadmonk's handy templates. These templates get you up and running quickly and there are more than 30 versions to choose from that are specifically designed for teams like product, marketing, and sales. Each roadmap template comes with recommended fields, but don't worry, they're fully customizable so you can make them your own. Back in the roadmaps homepage, click on the templates folder. Select the template you want to use. For this example, we'll go with product roadmap. After you choose a template, you'll see a preview version first so you can determine if it's right for you. Choose the Use This Template button at the top of the screen, and then either change or keep the roadmap's title and fiscal year end. If you don't want to use the template sample data, select Start Empty, then click Create. Hang tight for just a few seconds while your fields populate. And now you can see it. Okay. So now that we've seen both ways to create a roadmap, let's zoom in on more of the details within your roadmap, starting with items. Items are the primary things you enter into your roadmaps. The two most popular ways to add items are either manually or importing them from a CSV. Let's start by clicking the Add Item button in the roadmap screen and giving the item a name. And also add items directly from the items table itself. The item card, which you can access by clicking on the item, is like the command center where you can view, edit, and manage everything associated with an item, from its description to any helpful attachments, and so on. On the right side, you can see your item's history in the activity log. If you want to import data into your roadmap instead of manually entering it, you can export your data to a CSV file and then import that file into Roadmark. I'll show you a quick example. So I'll head to the Import from a CSV button and select my CSV file. Everything here looks good, so I'll go ahead and click Next. Once you finish the import, the items will automatically show up into your roadmap, just like this. Okay, for the next step of your roadmap learning, we're going to explore fields, which are the main categories of your roadmap. Fields appear as headers within your roadmap. You've already seen how all roadmaps in Roadmonk start out with two default fields, items and date, and how other fields can be added to a roadmap through a CSV import. Let's next look at how to add new fields to a roadmap manually. The simplest and easiest place to add a field is from the items table. Click the plus sign icon on the far right side. Any pre-existing fields will appear in the dropdown for you to choose from. To create a new field, Click Create New Field, and a field card will pop up. We'll go ahead and add a field name, as well as a field type. Stick with List for this example. 
then add any relevant field values. Once you're done, go ahead and click Create Field, and it'll automatically populate into the last column of your roadmap. You've now gone through the three most important steps in getting started with Roadmunk Roadmaps. Creating the roadmap, adding a roadmap item, and creating a new field. Finally, we'll look at two ways you can visualize your items, through timeline and swim lane views. As you might guess, the timeline view shows a time-oriented view of your items, such as initiatives and objectives, highlighted by milestones that call attention to your goals and achievements. On the other hand, the swim lane view is the right choice when you need a more agile, flexible roadmap that doesn't rely on dates. To create a new timeline visualization, click the view icon and select timeline. And now we'll just wait for our visualization to be created. Keep in mind that timelines have three main sections, the time range, the items themselves on the timeline, and the headers. You can play around with the layout and the colors of your roadmap by clicking on the format icon. You can also zoom in and zoom out up here at the top of the slider for different views of your timeline. Now to create a new swim lane visualization, first add a new view and select swim lane. Swim lanes also have three main sections. Column headers, which run up across the top. Row headers, which you can add right here on the side. As well as the items that make up the roadmap itself. Through the format icon, you can once again change up the layout and the colors of your roadmap. So there you go. A streamlined overview of how you can get started with Roadmunk. Happy roadmapping!